Well, Dr. James Larkin is a consultant medical oncologist at the Royal Marsden in London and one of the researchers behind this groundbreaking research. We can talk to him now, but he's in uh, Chicago. Um, if it's possible, can you just tell us what this drug does so we can understand it as, as a layman? Yeah, so if we're talking about vemurafenib, which is a, a, a tablet, what it does is it interferes with signaling inside cells, which have got this faulty BRAF protein. And what that protein causes um, is the cells to divide and spread abnormally. And essentially, the drug switches that off, and as a consequence, it shrinks tumours. Now, would you describe this as a breakthrough? Or, or how would you describe it? Well, yeah, without question, this is a major breakthrough. Um, melanoma, uh, once it's spread uh, around the body, um, is a very serious condition um, with a prognosis normally measured in a matter of months. And there have never really until recently been any significant breakthroughs um, in the use of drugs to treat melanoma in this situation. So what we're seeing now um, in 2011 is two different drugs, both of which seem to be very effective treatments for melanoma. So unquestionably uh, a major breakthrough. And melanoma, just to, again, talk us through a melanoma or what is melanoma? So melanoma is a, a type of cancer that starts in the skin and in fact normally or often it's curable with surgery when it's in the very early stages but the problem is that um, melanoma can spread to other parts of the body and then in that situation it becomes very difficult to treat. And another thing that's worth saying about melanoma is it's the cancer which is becoming, uh, the um, incidence uh, is increasing faster than any other type of cancer. So, for example, in the United Kingdom, the incidence of melanoma has quadrupled since the 1970s. And the reason for that? Probably mainly as a consequence, actually, um, of uh, sunburn. Um, it, it's a disease that uh, predominantly affects Caucasian people, and the main risk factor that we know about, the main environmental risk factor that we know about, is episodes of se severe sunburn uh, in childhood or in young adulthood. So it's thought that that's the most likely explanation for the increase in melanoma that we're seeing at the moment. And finally, uh, Doctor, when are we likely to see this drug made widely available? So the situation at the moment is the clinical trials testing these drugs have uh, ended and uh, ipilimumab or Yervoy is at the current time in Europe available in what's called a compassionate use program for patients uh, and the same is true uh, of the BRAF inhibitor vemurafenib. Uh, we hope that the drugs will become licensed in the relatively near future and then become uh, more generally available for patients with melanoma. Dr James Larkin talking to us from Chicago. Thank you very much.